Welcome to part 27 of the Final Fantasy VI commentary. Now that we are, uh, now that we were on a boat with Gerard. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> First, the, the musical cue, and now we must figure out his location, which you can find out very easily by just talking to the old guy near the cafe. I'm sorry, pub. No, I'm sorry. Cafe. I like how that guy is nodding yes towards the gear over there. Like, yes, <laughs> that's a gear. I noticed. <laughs> So do you actually buy stuff while you're in there? Uh, anytime you see this, every time, yeah, every time you see me fade to black and the music just skips ahead, um, I'm editing out uh, me buying shit. But I don't really no. buy anything besides maybe a few relics here and there. But yeah. Oh, that ass! I, I mean, Gerard. <laughs> So we figured out that Figaro Castle is nowhere to be seen after the apocalypse happened. Of course, figured of all the fucking places to actually to be destroyed, it's Figaro Castle. Because the town is just fine. Maybe you just went underground. Maybe so. Let's find out. Well, if you think about it, when you use dig, you're twice as you take twice as much damage from earthquake. You so <laughs> it's pretty much they guaranteed that's themselves over <laughs> two fold. They thought they were being smart, but they just fucked themselves over twofold. Honestly, I don't even know why I bothered getting on the chocobo if the cave is right fucking there. Well, well I didn't notice the cave because the way the chocobo uh, works, it's sort of hard to see sometimes. So I, I spent about seven. like... Yeah. Yeah, the mode 7. So the first time I played this, I spent about 15 minutes wandering about the desert looking for the castle. 15 minutes? <laughs> and then I realized this isn't working and then I went back and I just happened to see it once I got off and I'm like, God damn it. Who is that mysterious figure that we just saw? Oh, well, before that, we had some fat asses. Uh, a thing of a lucid that and a whatchamacallit. Yeah. <laughs> Got My a backpack. God, some clothes on. <laughs> I don't even know what that top thing is supposed to be. I, I don't know what it's supposed to be either. I can't even make out anything on that thing. It's like the sprite artist just gave up towards the end of the game. <laughs> it's all the remaining pixel data left from the... Uh, all the sprite artwork, and it just decided to become sentient. <laughs> I, think that's the, no more. I think that's the only type of uh, enemy design I'd like to, of that uh, that we ever face. I, I think there might be another uh, recolor later on, uh, but as my, my, my mind is drawing a blank. Anyway, we just saw Siegfried. If you recall, he was the guy that we uh, pathetically whooped his ass into the train. No, that was Siegfried. Totally yes. different. And you don't have these yet? This is what, the third, fourth, the fifth time really. you've gone through this cave? Yep. But I did that on purpose, Ted. You see, if you purposely leave some treasure treasures unopened, when you visit them later on, the items inside will become even better. You see, what was initially a Phoenix Down is now an X Potion. Huzzah. Yay. Do you ever get to buy those at any point? What, the the X potions? Yeah. I don't think so. But then again, after a while, I never buy anything from the ma uh, item shots ever again. So I'm all magic at this point. Well, you might want to buy the magic restoring stuff. Uh, like, like ethers and stuff like that? Yeah, maybe. But at this time, though, I've, I've already found so many elixirs and mega elixirs and uh, the random clocks scattered throughout the world that I really don't need it. I mean, what do you think we are? Made of, made of ether? <laughs> yeah. What's the matter with you? <laughs> Which does pick up the question why Cloud doesn't have unlimited magic. Well, it turns out the uh, entrance to the, uh, the cave that was in the, the World of Balance is now sealed off permanently. So now we have to use a turtle. Why can't you just swim? <laughs> I don't know. It'll rust Cells' armor. Whatever armor she has on her. <laughs> Well, her was, official... Well, she can't jump on a turtle wearing high heels. Jeez. Yay, random battles. Oh, what's this? Oh, that motherfucker! <laughs> so you can fight him in the Dragon Coliseum if you uh, bet a Mega uh, Elixir. Uh, actually, you that is... Uh, that is... Uh, that's Siegfried. Uh, isn't, aren't they supposed to be the same person? No. 
Oh, they the are. Person, the person we're looking at right now is actually a fraud. He's the same person we fought on the Phantom Train, which is why he was so pathetically easy to kill. The one we fight in the Coliseum is the real deal, and he's actually uh, he's pretty challenging. I wonder if it was awful. I don't know. Actually, we see what's happening here is because, uh, our, so, you know, obviously Figaro Castle is still left intact. What we don't see is that it's trapped underground, and because of that, all the oxygen is nearly wiped out of the castle. So everyone's actually dying from asphyxiation. Except you us. <laughs> Except, uh, yeah, yeah, we're perfectly fine. But, uh, like, um, in the advanced translation, instead of everyone saying it was awful, they just can't, they're just saying, like, they can't breathe. Yeah, it's not very well explained here. I thought they were all just sort of knocked down because of the end of the world. And I was like, knocked okay. Down, Garland! Well <laughs> Regal Crown. Regal Crown is yeah. something I usually, uh, save for Edgar. But uh, in this, we in don't this, have it uh, right like, now, so yeah. Other than that, there's well, really I mean, no other, uh, nothing to do here. Hmm. See, no one thought here's to the problem. The, no, here's the problem: too many toasters. <laughs> But boss, that's dangerous. Danger? I eat dangerous for breakfast. Sir, that doesn't make any sense. Shut the fuck up and let me attack it. <laughs> Danger? What are you I waiting laugh. for, Silas? Give me an Edgar. It is Edgar, you. it's you! So you're not your rat. <laughs> Alright, oh, boss, I'm time. Oh god, I've oh. seen enough hentai to know where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you haven't seen anything yet. How can it be? So we to... How can there be anything worse than a giant room full of nothing but tentacles? With it gets worse. Just wait a second. Seas. Grabby, grabby. Oh shit. Yep. See. <laughs> <laughs> I was right. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the main gimmicks of the tentacle boss battle. They'll they'll do an attack called seas twice in a row. One inflicts uh, slow on you, and the other uh, is a grab attack where it starts draining your HP and it starts restoring itself. Uh, one of the no another annoying aspect of the boss fight is that each uh, tentacle has different elemental properties. So if you think you can like use one certain spell on all four of them, it won't help you because while one might be damaged, the other might uh, heal from it, as I'll demonstrate here. Well, not here, but later on. <laughs> Eventually. Yeah. Is there but the you can tentacles do to get will random. What? Uh, the elemental weaknesses, or does the up no, left tentacle it, have the same weakness every time? Yeah, no, it, they, they always have the same weakness. Um, I just never remember what their weaknesses are. Yeah. I, lo I love that. Chain uh, Edgar's instant kill chainsaw worked. It actually, actually worked on a boss. Yay. Too bad there are four parts to the boss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the tentacle C's won't uh, hold on to the character forever, but it's still really annoying. Oh, shit. Uh, can you stop it from grabbing them if you attack the right one before it uses C's twice? No, it'll grab it regardless. It's, it's kind of like a set pattern. You can't disrupt it at any point. What well, does damaging it make the character make them let the uh, let go of the characters no. faster? Or? Uh, I believe so. I'm not sure if it uh, uh, depends on whether the attack needs to be physical or magical. Um, but I'm just thankful that it's not like the um, that one uh, mechanical enemy from Final Fantasy VII that had the ability to, to grab one of your characters, two of them at max, and every time you hurt him, you would hurt the uh, the party members. Really fucking hated that boss battle. I'm trying to remember what the name of that boss battle was. Put in Yuffie and Kate Lau. Don't care if you hurt them. <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> oh, no. he oh See, that's when you I, I, I healed it for over 2,000 points. God damn it. <laughs> well, at least I know that one's uh, not a, uh, it's absorbed fire, so... Use Let's ice. Hit it with fire. <laughs> Kill it with fire. No. Burning it doesn't seem to be work. 
It must be burning enough. It must not be burning enough. Use fire <laughs> three instead! <laughs> this should do it. Should be the keyword. Yep. Yay! Good, we defeated four tentacles. Now we just have the rest of the room to worry about. <laughs> it's not supportive. We'll go get back out there. <laughs> as long as 4chan exists, there will always be tentacles. <laughs> so Edgar reveals that he was only putting on a, fa a facade to get the prisoners to lead him to where uh, Figaro Castle was. But now that you know Ray knows where the castle is, he has no use for these guys anymore, so... Time to kill them. No, <laughs> just go let them go. <laughs> yeah. That was Saban doing there. <laughs> yes, let's let the criminals back into the world where they can rape, pillage, and burn everything. And unleash more tentacle monsters. <laughs> <laughs> so yay, we have Edgar again. Yeah, we have Edgar back. <laughs> Uh, one of the few mandatory characters that you need to get back in this world. Well, I assume you need to raise Figaro Castle to proceed with the game. Exactly. So by defeating the tentacle monsters, I'm guessing that's releasing all the oxygen back into the, the castle, because now everyone's completely fine. Yes, let's kill the plants, which create oxygen for it to be No, there. these are evil plants. They only spew out carbon dioxide, the fuckers. Okay, we can breathe again. Wait, wait, we weren't we weren't above surface yet? <laughs> what were we breathing? I mean we've been hiding underground for an entire year. <laughs> Let's go back underground. Oh, and we're going back under. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you know, they never do explain how this works. I always assumed that there was a tunnel and the the figure the castle had wheels <laughs> and jet boosters on its side. <laughs> it's like an ancient version of the techno drum. Yeah, yeah, you're exactly right. <laughs> Just All right. fewer ninjas. So now that we uh, saved the people of Figaro Castle, we can proceed on to uh, another, another familiar time that we've. Uh, that surprisingly is still okay <laughs> after the apocalypse. <laughs> what the hell was destroyed? Uh, Mobliz? And those kids as parents. That's about it. I'm pretty sure Kefka's, uh, Kefka's like 1 for 10 at this point. <laughs> and destroying the kids is a bad thing for Kefka because they'll all become Batman. <laughs> <laughs> so that makes it like... Uh, zero for what ten thousand? Seeing as you've got like twelve Batman's all at once. Yeah, <laughs> whatever kind of math you're using, but yeah, I agree. <laughs> Evil clowns is one weakness, Batman. Now he has like twelve of them to deal with. <laughs> and God forbid you handicap one of the females. <laughs> And one of the kids Mark. becomes a Robin for good measure. <laughs> Just for Hey, <laughs> Fox, there's a bogey on my tail. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Shut uh. up, Slippy. Oh. Nobody cares! <laughs> I purposely shoot you now. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's actually one of the few instances where I actually use Iker's drill. Well, well, what's wrong with the drill? It's not a chainsaw. No. Well, I guess. And to a few people, it's not one that pierces the heavens. <laughs> nope, it's definitely not one that pierces the heavens. <laughs> pierces the heavens. Maybe later. Narsh is oh, so by talking to that guy, we find out that Narsh, that's also perfectly fine, is now filled with monsters. Ooh, so pretty. Uh, I remember back when the color pilot was a little more vibrant. <laughs> I remember when the kid ran around in circles for no reason. <laughs> Why would I want to do that? <laughs> uh uh. A man that says thou to everyone, that must mean cayenne is fine. I'm sorry, cyan. Cayenne. I'm thinking of his Japanese name. Kane? <laughs> cayenne. Oh, that's Final Fantasy IV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Setzer. Oh, hi, Setzer. 
Sensei. You know, this is the easy. This is the easiest one to get out of all of them. Like party yeah. member wise, all you have to <laughs> you do just is talk walk to him. Up to him. <laughs> no boss fight, no side quests. You just have to listen to him mope a little bit, and then nope, oh, it's fine. What? Do you really have anything else to do, Sensor? I just can't believe it. Out of all the fu every other every other thing in this godforsaken world is perfectly fine after the apocalypse, but my fucking airship! Oh no, that's too delicate to survive. So after a few words of encouragement, Setzer now feels the will to fight again. So with that said, we're going to Daryl's tomb to get ourselves another one, airship that is. Yes, I love how Setzer just has these things lying around. <laughs> airship that is. I mean, and just because they want to treat us more like morons, they have to point out the direction of Daryl's tomb for us. <laughs> it's right there. You could just put it on the map. Yeah. But that, that that's way beyond their technological advancements. 